Eating food is fun, right? Sometimes we can get a little messy. Maybe you drop something on the ground. Whoa! <sighs> That's okay though. Five second rule. If we drop something and it's on the ground for less than five seconds, then no germs can get to it. So we're okay. Isn't that right? Wrong. Food immediately picks up the germs from the ground. What? While it does matter how long your food is on the ground, the transfer of bacteria onto your precious treat begins immediately, less than a second. Okay, so I literally drop my food anywhere and I'm screwed? Not quite. The severity of the viruses and bacteria that climb aboard depend on the surface. Surface? Surface, the ground, the floor, you idiot. It's important to take into account how regularly sterilized the area is and what germs have been introduced. So it's safe to say that somewhere like your bedroom floor is probably cleaner than a subway platform. So anywhere in my house is probably fine. A Rutgers study found that surfaces such as tile, wood, and stainless steel transferred bacteria at a higher rate than carpet. Tile, wood, stainless steel? That sounds like my kitchen. Beware of your kitchen. Oh god, this is scary. Every food is getting the same germ treatment. Not so fast. What now? The same Rutgers study tested various food surfaces against each other. Bread. Bread with butter. Watermelon slices. And gummy candy. Those are my favorite foods. Okay. To conduct the ultimate five second rule test, the researchers use those foods. Bread. Bread with butter. Watermelon slices. And gummy candy. Against four different surfaces. Tile wood, stainless steel, and carpet using four different time intervals. One second, five seconds, 30 seconds, and 300 seconds. And? Each food item was dropped five still inches going from the surface, while the surfaces were purposefully contaminated with bacterium similar to salmonella. Okay, so? Nothing escaped the clutches. They were all contaminated. The study found that the watermelon slices had the highest rate of bacteria transfer. This is attributed to the wetness and moisture of the watermelon slices, and on a microscopic level, the flatter surface. This is disgusting. Another study found that cucumber slices, a food similar in both moisture and surface, also had a high rate of bacteria transfer. So if I drop my watermelon cucumber salad on a wooden subway platform, then God help you. What? Just kidding. While roughly 48 million people get sick from foodborne illnesses, about 3,000 of those cases being fatal, only an estimated 12% can be attributed to cross-contamination from surface contact. So that means... So in the midst of all these studies, it's safe to say it's all relatively low risk. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to just come in here and scare the shit out of me and then tell me I'm gonna be fine. That's not fair. So the five second rule isn't real, but the germs aren't gonna kill me. Yes. Great, thanks for ruining my day. Oh, shit. Don't. That is like licking the bottom of your shoe. Mm-hmm.